All right, hey there everybody, I am Kevin Brosh. You may have seen me on such shows as Iron Chef America, Thirsty Traveler, Chef Off, and or Mega World. And these are my favorite places in Toronto for breakfast. Okay, that being a huge breakfast guy, which I know is bad because it is the most important meal of the day, it's important that I at least get my coffee and croissant in. So typically I like going to the Green Beanery in the Annex or Sam's Coffee Pocket. All right, brunch. Really not much of a brunch guy either. Why, I don't know. But if I do go out for brunch, I need to be entertained. I'm gonna say the Dakota. Because it's honest, cheap, decent food, fresh squeezed orange juice, and then that whole kind of mass of pancakes and bacon and potatoes and toast. And the music is really what drives me there. It's the, it's the attitude, and you can still get a good Caesar or a beer. So that is kind of my brunch kind of place. For lunch, on a regular occasion, I really have to give props up to the Rhodey Palace. Big fan, long time eater, live right around the corner from there. Rhodey Palace, cheap, convenient, you're getting your spice, you're getting your uh, Caribbean Trinidadian hint of really good food done in a simple, honest way. That's what, kind of, what Kevin Brush likes to eat for lunch. The most political of the questions, what do I like to eat for dinner? It's a big ass question because do you really, are you going out to a place where you know the chef and they're going to treat you really nice and take care of you and try and buddy you up? Or are you going to a place you just like to eat dinner? Now, since I've been kind of lowbrow in the last couple of choices, I'm going to go a bit higher end here. Uh, I do love starfish for dinner. Excellent chef. That guy who shucks oysters at the front of the bar, what's his name? Patrick, I think. Pretty good about the oysters. He knows his deal. A lot of small craft beers on, on the tap. They, it's it's really thought out, which is what I like. Cheers. Bon appetit.